Hello? Anybody home? Street medicine? I've lived in a tent for the last three years. And these people here changed your life. Well, my background is a little mental health and um, drug addiction. That's pretty much it led me up to this. In and out of jail, grown up, in and out of psych hospitals, uh, homeless, had lost, had lost, had lost again. So it's uh, all part of life. It's just every day your eyes open is another day to keep moving. Street medicine does not only for themselves, they do more for others than themselves. We go out into the community and try to meet patients where they're at. Many of these patients really have very poor interactions with the traditional healthcare system, and they lost a lot of trust in uh, the healthcare system because of various instances. And so we have gone out to be able to fill the gaps of their needs and be able to access care more easily and to be able to build back that trust again so they can uh, get the healthcare that they need. These are some of the nicest, most appreciative people that you could meet who have particular hurdles in life. The street medicine program is designed to help those individuals uh, overcome those hurdles. For most of us, calling a doctor and making an appointment is not that big of a deal. Um, but for someone who is homeless or potentially living in a tent, unable to charge their phone, making a phone call to have a doctor appointment for something that is very important to them uh, is not nearly as easy. The street medicine team does not wait for people to realize that they need them and then seek them out. They go and seek out those who they know are in great need in all areas of their life and they um, engage them. They're proactive about seeking them. Um, they're trying to bring care to people before they need life-saving measures. I have problems with high blood pressure, uh, gout, uh, thyroid, um, diabetes, and suppose I need my man and street medicine help me in everything. They, they help you not only with medicine and making sure you're healthy, but they keep you healthy otherwise, other ways too, with like bringing you food, and if you're, you're cold, they bring you stuff to keep you warm. If it's raining out and you're tired of being soaked, they bring you a rain jacket from their own trunk in their car. Uh, so many uh, social organizations are doing a lot of the same things, and the partnerships we built with those organizations really helped us work with them. So we right now run uh, uh, stand-up clinics in places that patients already go. Here at New Journey, we just meet critical essential needs. It's food and clothing, but being able to offer this wraparound program where uh, we can look at someone and say, hey, we, we, have a, we have street medicine here, we have doctors, nurses here who can see you for your, your physical needs, is a whole new level of care. The street medicine team comes here to the mission a couple of times a month um, in mass. They're here more often on a smaller scale, but they'll bring their large team, which could be 15 to 20, you know, healthcare providers, and they will take over our case management department and our lobby, and they will have a clinic, if you will, available for um, anyone that's here or anybody from the community to come in and they'll uh, address their needs. The fact that we're able to um come here and provide these services and meet the people where they're at um, is just extraordinary to me. Street medicine functions because of all of the volunteers, but also because of the support of Tower Health System, the administration at Tower Health, and the donors who actually allow us to do what we do. If we don't have them, who are going to help them? So if everybody lend a hand, whether you volunteer with hours or you have donated money or some equipment, etc., we will make a better place for everybody. Between them and New Journey and the coalition, there's, you couldn't find any better people. They saved not my lives, many lives.